Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe how new medicines are discovered and then tested. In the last video we looked at medicines such as antibiotics and painkillers. New medicines are being developed all the time and all of them have to be extensively tested. So first we're going to look at where new medicines come from. In the past medicines were often extracted from plants. This shows the plant foxglove which was used to extract the heart drug digitalis. The painkiller aspirin was extracted from willow trees and I'm showing that here. Drugs were also extracted from microorganisms. For example the scientist Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin in the mold penicillium. These days most new drugs are synthesized by chemists working for pharmaceutical companies but the starting point is still often a chemical extracted from a plant. Now all new drugs, no matter where they come from, have to be tested and trialled. Firstly, we need to check the toxicity of the drug, in other words, whether it's safe for humans. We then need to check that the drug's effective, in other words, it treats the disease that we're looking at. And finally, we need to work out the best dose of the drug. So the first stage of drug testing is called preclinical testing. Now preclinical testing is not carried out on humans, and that's because the drug could be extremely toxic. Instead, preclinical testing is carried out on cells, tissues, or on live animals. Once these tests have been carried out, the drug then enters clinical testing, in other words, in humans. In the first stage of clinical testing, very low doses of the drug are given to healthy volunteers, and that's to check that the drug is safe in humans. If the drug is found to be safe, then clinical testing continues in order to find the optimal dose. In other words, the best dose to treat the disease with the fewest side effects. Now, there is one key idea about drug testing that you need to understand, and that's the idea of a placebo. A placebo is a tablet or an injection with no active drug in it. Now, some patients will get better if you give them a placebo. That's because they think they're being treated, so they believe that they're going to get better. So, most drug tests are double blind. In a double blind test, the test group receives the active drug. The placebo or control group receive a dummy drug which looks exactly like the test drug but it's got no active ingredient. In a double blind trial neither the patients nor the doctors know which people are receiving the active drug and which are receiving the placebo. That's to stop bias in case the doctors pay closer attention to people receiving the active drug. Remember you'll find plenty of questions on testing medicines in my vision workbook and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to describe how new medicines are discovered and then tested. 